Hello, everybody out there in YouTube. We are the Middle Aged Guys, and we bullshit about nothing. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Very Miles One. Kong Skull Island. Um, <laughs> yeah, lots of lots of tra trailers this week. Uh, November sixth, sixteenth, Wednesday. Brand new trailer for Kong Skull Island. This movie is set to release out March tenth, two thousand seventeen. It is the return of King Kong. The uh, one of the original actual giant monsters for American cinema, if you think about it, um, set to come out. They're taking another stab at it. They they had the original movie all the way back, I think, in nineteen thirty something. Yeah. yeah, and then they 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 did a, a, a remake in nineteen seventy nine, mm -hmm. um, and then they did another remake in two thousand five. Mm -hmm. And so now they're doing starting another remake. Warner Brothers and Legendary Pictures is taking another stab at it again, uh, which is set to release out March 10th, 2017. We all saw the trailer. I'm going to open up the floor. What are you guys' thoughts on it? The 2005. Wasn't the credits longer than the movie? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> wait, I ain't getting any objections from that? Wait, 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 wait. You it definitely the felt that way. <laughs> the, the Peter Jackson one's like five hours long. That's what I was. I was asking. The two, that was the Peter Jackson one, and I, was, I just I said, wasn't the credits longer than the movie as a joke? And you got to no object. <laughs> no, but all right. Look, they're taking another stab at King Kong. King Kong is one of the most iconic. King Kong is not the king of the monsters, but look, at least. By the very least, by this trailer, King Kong is worthy of that title. Yep. He, look, he's running around. He's huge. There's going to be other monsters that he's probably going to tear two bits. Walking through fire like Sephiroth or Akuma. That was pretty interesting when I saw that shit. I was like, whoa, god damn. They, they really, really emphasized the King Kong this time as far as him being part of this jungle. Don't bring him to the fucking city. Don't get him caged somehow. Don't try to have him at some type of show or whatever. And No, don't fucking do that. Have this shit stay in the jungle, take place in the jungle, monster fights, and eating humans if he has to in order to fucking thwart them off and avoid them. Whatever. I'm excited for this. It's King fucking Kong. Do this shit right. What about you, Green Mouse? What are your thoughts? They got a cliffside that tells you how big King Kong is this time. Too. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it, it seems like it has a little... I don't know. Like, like I was saying, it, look, we have... <laughs> we have Loki, Captain Marvel, <laughs> Nick Fury... And that no-name guy from Step Brothers. Oh. No, no. John C. Riley's been a lot. Oh, that's I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no that it was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm excited about this one, too. Uh, it was kind of funny. Um, it's like, of course, you got the, the Southern Draw guy in the helicopter talking about, is that a monkey? <laughs> and he gets thrown. Yeah, they gets thrown into the helicopter. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really think it's going to be an interesting um, movie. I'm, I'm looking forward to it as well. The details behind this movie, it looks like they're setting it up where this particular film happens in 1971. Mm -hmm. So it's around the Vietnam era that yeah. they actually land and um, end up in Skull Island. Um, I'm actually really, really excited about this particular one. The reason being is that Legendary Pictures, in, uh, in conjunction with Warner Brothers, they are setting the stage for a King Kong versus Godzilla rematch. No! I'm okay. not happy about that. I'm All right. sorry. I'm just not. I, I'm not going to accept <laughs> that until I got to see this movie first. Yeah. You okay, know. wait, wait, wait. John There's no Riley. way that King Kong can go against the, the we're, shit. We're, we're past that. We're past that. Right now, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the thing with it is that, um, you know, 
Legendary Pictures or Warner Brothers and Legendary Pictures, they have a hold. Well, King Kong itself, that's actually a um, uh, public domain story. All right. Anybody can make a King Kong movie. Okay. Really? I um, thought that was only Universal that did King Kong movies. No, no. King Kong as, as a character is in public domain. All right. Yeah. Oh, then, fuck it. Let's put Donkey Kong in there. You know, um, then they'd have to license it, you know, with, with Nintendo. And then they'd be asking for Mario. And then, you know, all of a sudden they, they'd be asking for John Leguizamo to reprise his no, role. No, no. We're and, not doing uh, another Pixels. No. And, and shit like that. I, I, no. I don't think that's going to work out. But, like, like I was saying, Warner Brothers and their plan with Legendary, as far as this goes, is just like a lot of studios out there. A lot of the movies that they're putting together, they don't want to just have like sequelized series. They want to build universes where things are fucking interconnected. Now, they are trying to follow and um, and ape the Marvel, <laughs> uh, you know, market structure as far as the way that they're putting uh, movies together. So, so what they're gonna do is start with Kong first, and then a rematch with Godzilla, and then Pacific Rim is gonna jump in. Quite possibly, they all have the same production company. Now, now, wait a minute. I wasn't even being serious. I was being facetious about that. They're <laughs> all handled <laughs> by Legendary. Wait, that could actually happen? Yes, that could actually happen. What about all the monsters that were in this movie coming up? I, I mean, look, where did they come from? Well, they could uh, they could find a way to, to go ahead and actually... Yeah, they came from below, just like Pacific Rim. Yeah, yeah, so... So there was another portal? Quite possibly, you know. Damn, I didn't even think about that until now. Yeah. Yeah, because Pacific okay. Rim was Pacific Rim was was produced by Legendary, okay? I don't know if um and the thing is that you know, around the time that uh Legendary went ahead and put out uh, Godzilla in 2014. They actually asked Guillermo del Toro what he thought of you know the opportunity of um, of doing a crossover. And like the big fanboy that he is, <laughs> was like, I would love to do a crossover with the with the King of Monsters. All right. Um, one thing first. But they need Shin Godzilla versus Mothra first. <laughs> well, that that's handled by Toho. Okay, that's. Uh, I'm just saying. Or Ghidorah. Yeah. Uh, or, or, there you go, right there. Mothra they or Ghidorah? Or, or yeah. Ghidorah? Yeah. They, they got to do one of those, man, yeah. before they bring in Kong. <laughs> no, I would like a free for all with all them fuckers in it. You know, if if they do, uh, if they seriously, do... wait, 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 Reverend, seriously, <laughs> bring in Ghidorah, bring in Mothra, look. <laughs> bring in all the fucking monsters and bring in Pacific Rim and have a big ass free for all for two fucking wait, hours. Wait, wait, are they gonna bring in Mech Mech Shin Yeah, Mech get Mech Godzilla, bring that shit in too. Quite possibly, <laughs> you know. Yeah, bring that shit in too. Yeah. But yeah, like 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 you said, with this particular one, they're actually legendary and, and Warner Brothers are actually thinking about building this up together because the thing is is that what you what you may have noticed like when they were doing the whole slides and thing they actually showed the monarch uh insignia for yeah, the yeah, um, exactly the agency that was researching godzilla in the 2014 movie yeah. right from all the way back in like 19 when they when they did the bomb test in like 1954 okay that was a good um, catch Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they're they, they are they have already announced it. That's what they want to build to. They're going to have like uh, two movies on each side, and then they're going to go ahead and do a crossover. That's what they're. You know what's going to be funny? That trailer, Godzilla versus King Kong, is going to be showed during the Avengers movie. <laughs> Most likely during the fucking Infinity War movie. Before that, it's going to show the trailer with Godzilla and King Kong. I'm calling it. What I find like interesting that. too. What I find interesting too is uh, the way um, Samuel L. Jackson kind of looked at the screen or the the, the the camera when he saw that the the island looks like a, a, a freaking skull. Yeah. Did yeah. y'all catch that? He's like, he's like, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there there are parts of it. The well, I'm not sure. Uh, based on the trailer, we're not sure what type of uh, what what type of atmosphere they want to go ahead and, and put together. But I'm what it looks John like. Is that, it. Yeah, with with John C. Wright, he looks like he looks like uh, some dude who got stranded from like World War Two. 
<laughs> right. Yeah. The thing I noticed too is that some of the uh, the creatures, I guess, that was coming out of the uh, out of the earth, it kind of reminded me of those guys from Pitch Black. You know what I mean? Those type of creatures. I was like, because I, I when it, when it showed the skull and the creature was coming through the skull, you know what yeah. I'm talking about? It, yeah. I was like, wait a minute, that kind of looks like those those creatures from um from Pitch Black. And the, yeah. But they're they're not going to be attached to that, you know. I mean, they they just they probably have the same, uh, you know, designers who went to the same school. So, um, yeah, this particular one it, it looks interesting. I really want to see more. Um, uh, this is this is one where I, I'm just going to be honest. I, I want to see the huge monkey. All right, uh, show show me Terry, show me King Kong. Tearing shit up, you know, throwing shit around, uh, uh, ripping fucking dinosaurs' heads off and shit like that. You know, sh- just show me, show me him doing that. Don't fucking take him into New York. Don't make him call the fucking Empire State Building. Don't have him fall in love with, with Fay Ray or some other blonde bitch. All right, just no, leave that alone. Okay, we already know. All right, I, there, there is, there is a comment here about you know it's. It, we already know, but no, let's not do that. It's it looks like they're 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 not trying to do that, and thankfully they're not trying to remake something that's already been remade twice. Um, so you know, well, it it's still it looks really interesting as far I, as that regard. I would be very satisfied as long as you know with the with the whole thing, as long as they don't Jurassic Park it. You know, like like you were saying, they get a tourist attraction, trap the the. The, the the no, you don't trap the monkey into a cage and send it back to New York. Please don't do that. You know, just like just like the thing was saying at the beginning of the, uh, the video. You know, keep it in the jungle. And I think there's enough going on just by watching that trailer. That I think the jungle will be the meat of the uh, of the movie. And we I didn't see one, We didn't see one fucking building. All we saw was green and and wood. Yeah. Really, we didn't see. And artificial fucking, yeah, shit from long ago. We didn't see, we saw primitive shit. We didn't see technology, really, ex- except for helicopters being fucked up. Mm-hmm. We didn't see any buildings. And let it keep, let it keep, let it stay that way. Don't trap them in, in, in Jurassic Park. It Don't and- tranquilize him. No, yeah. No, don't do that stupid dumb shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like I said. I'm I, I'm I'm optis, optimistically hope. I'm I'm very uh, optimistic on this particular one, uh, you know. But then again, like I've said in previous videos, I have a, an open bias to giant monsters. All right. Wait, don't um, we all? We're middle aged guys. We grew <laughs> up in the time where motherfucking look video games, Saturday morning cartoons, monsters, wrestling. Yeah, shit, all that shit. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just saying, you know, and that I, I just have to put that, that out there, uh, not even as a disclaimer, just as a as a reference. All right, um, you know, so this particular one, they we've got a lot of time before March 10th, uh, 2017. There's probably going to be at least another two or three trailers, or probably at least another two trailers that they're going to release out. When they do, we'll see our 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 reactions here most likely. Go ahead, Green Mouse. This is the second trailer. There was not an official yeah. one. This was the second. This is the okay. Second first trailer. Yeah. I know that sounds fucked up, but yeah, yeah. Gray, no, Gray Mouse is right. This is the second trailer. This is the second trailer for this. Yeah, because they released one around Comic Con, didn't they? Correct. Yeah, yeah, they they did the Comic Con trailer. Um, yeah, this is this trailer two. Yeah, this is trailer number two, the official trailer. They still have room for like two more. So. Great. Yeah. I, I, I would be surprised if we see two more coming out. <laughs> so, um, in which case, if that happens, we'll be here on YouTube giving our reactions to it like we are right now. Um, is there anything else we have to add to this particular one, gentlemen? Don't have King Kong doing something stupid like shooting flames out of his fucking mouth. He won't have an atomic breath, dude. Or glowing fur or whatever. Don't do fuck. Don't do shit. That, I'm being stupid of course no you mean you mean you don't want him to be able to sit there and catch lightning bolts and electrify shit like he did in the 1960 movie <laughs> well as long 
suppose he don't, you know, grab a woman out of a cave and try to climb the tallest tree or something. <laughs> and have helicopters, you know, swat into helicopters. No, I'm just, I'm being facetious. Oh, no, you didn't put that possibility. You can <laughs> climb a volcano holding the chick and just swiping. Instead of the instead of the empire or maybe the Chrysler building, you can <laughs> walk a volcano doing it. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. If that happens, Gray Mouse, we're blaming you. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Look at that, folks. I think we're going to just kill I'll jump my popcorn on top of you if that happens in the theater when we're watching it. Look, look, he'll just grab the village idiot and take him up to the nearest volcano. Yeah. Uh, he can just toss him from where he stands. <laughs> what the fuck is he going to climb for? You saw how tall that con was. Well, yeah. Very big volcano. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think this is a good point to go ahead and wrap this one up, folks. Um, what do you think about the King Kong trailer? You know, uh, what do you think about our reaction to it? We'd love to hear it. You know, we'd love to see you go ahead and leave comments below. Um, just like I say at the end of every video, if you're so kind, hit that like button, hit subscribe. We are the three middle-aged guys. We bullshit. We've been bullshitting about King Kong and uh, the possibility of him having a rematch with Godzilla with the Pacific Rim guys doing elbow drops from the fucking turnbuckles to jump in. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, until I, Ghidorah shows up. Yeah, you know. And, uh-huh. yeah, if if they put that on pay-per-view, I'd, I'd fucking buy it, too. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're the middle aged guys. Our bullshit ends here. I have the Reverend. The theme here. <laughs> Mouse one. Every form of entertainment has a right to exist, even if you don't like it, especially if it has to do with fucking monsters and monsters attack. And look, yeah, lead up to this Avengers of Monsters and have a, just a monster free for all for two fucking straight hours. Just don't have any fucking infinity stones in there. Man, that would end up being a nerdgasm right there, man. Two hours of fucking monsters fighting. Oh yeah! Oh my god, dude! Oh yeah! <laughs> no human dialogue, just monsters <laughs> fucking everything up. Oh my god, nerdgasm, dude! <laughs> yeah. Talk about Nirvana. Fuck. <sighs> Credits. <laughs> I'd pay a dollar to see that. <laughs> I pay a dime. What are you talking about?